Welcome to this introduction to the end-to-end -end research process used by HRP, the United Nations Special Research Program on Human Reproduction. In this video, you will learn about the nine stages of the research process used by HRP and WHO's Department of Sexual and Reproductive Health and Research, which also contributes to strengthening the research capacity and knowledge sharing with the HRP research collaborating institutions. The first stage is developing the research study protocol. This is a detailed plan that outlines the objectives, study design considerations, methods, and the procedures for conducting a research study. The protocol serves as a blueprint or roadmap for researchers to follow throughout the research process. It provides a clear and structured framework for conducting the study and ensuring that it is conducted systematically, ethically, and with scientific rigor. The second stage is undergoing approval process for the study protocol and related documentation from the research project review panel referred to as RP2, the Research Ethics Review Committee, known as ERC, and the Institutional Review Board, or IRB. Before a research study can begin, its study protocol needs to be reviewed to ensure that it meets the required scientific, technical, ethical, and financial standards of HRP, as well as of the institution where the study will be conducted. The third stage is developing the study instruments or case report forms or CRFs that will be used to collect data. CRFs needs to be developed in accordance with the HRP Standards Operating Procedures or SOPs for case report form development, review and production. The fourth stage is the development of a web-based data platform. Such a platform allows curation of data on a server for processing while ensuring validation controls are enforced. Examples of the platform commonly used by HRP are OpenClinica and RedCap. The fifth stage is developing the Data Management Plan or DMP. A DMP outlines what will be done with the data during and after the study. It guides how the data will be collected, stored, secured, queried, accessed, shared, and archived. Data quality monitoring is an essential part of the DMP. The sixth stage is developing the Statistical Analysis Plan, or SAP. The SAP is a document that gives detailed descriptions of the planned statistical analysis to be carried out. This ensures that the evaluation of a research study objectives is conducted in a scientifically valid and transparent way. The seventh stage is to launch the study and provide training to local research teams. This might involve orientating local teams to study protocols and SOPs, data collection tools and platforms, as well as proper management of study data. The A stage is to conduct site visits and study monitoring. This is to ensure that study sites are set up according to the appropriate standards with all required equipment, documents, and staff in place. This also helps to minimize errors in data collection, in addition to standardizing the study activities across all sites. The ninth stage is extracting and analyzing the analysis data set. If an interim analysis has been planned as stated in the study protocol, the data can be extracted before the end of the study and analyzed to test hypothesis. Otherwise, the final analysis is done once the sample size target required is reached and the following completion of the data collection and data cleaning activities. Once the research findings have been obtained, it is necessary to interpret and report them. 
interpretation should be done according to the statistical tests used and any comparisons made between groups. Guidelines such as those offered by the Equator Network should be followed to enhance transparency and accuracy of reporting, including in a peer-reviewed publication of the research findings. Depending on the data sharing plan or policy in place, data collected from the study can be made available for other purposes in contribution to the knowledge base, as well as for strengthening research capacities through secondary data analysis and their publication. Finally, the study is closed out and the data are archived. Data should be archived in an archiving system for a defined period of time and in accordance with the organization's rules and regulation. It will be worth noting that some of the activities mentioned in these nine stages may as well occur concurrently. For example, a DMP may be developed while the web-based data platform is being finalized, or the SAP development may occur concurrently with the DMP development, or the SAP may be finalized after the study is launched, but prior to commencing the data analysis. You have now learned about the end-to-end -end research process in HRP and SRIH. To get more information on each stage and obtain further resources to guide you, please visit the HRP statistics portal and request access. The link is shared here. Thank you.